In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your business objects environment to SAP BW. So we'll need to open up a program called an information design tool. And this is again inside of our Windows Server Sandbox. Once the screen opens up, you might be greeted by a wizard. Just go ahead and close that. What we'll need to do now is come to the top and make sure the repository resource window is showing up. And if it is, go ahead and insert a new session. So again, just click on the insert, insert session. And we're gonna be putting in these same system username and passwords within our information design tool. Okay, this is going to open a new session. And now we can see that we have an active session. We'll expand the tree, revealing our connections folder. And then all we're gonna to need to do is create a new connection. So we'll right click on our connections folder and then choose insert OLAP connection. We'll call this resource name BW space server. Go ahead and click next. And now locate the SAP BI CS client under SAP BW7.x. So now we've chosen that particular parameter. We'll enter in all of our system information for our SAP BW sandbox. And this is for your SAP application server. This has nothing to do with business objects. This is actually given the credentials for your application server. This is the server information that comes straight from your SAP GUI. Once you've finished configuring your OLAP connection, click Next. And we don't really want to specify any limitations as far as what this connection can access. We want to access everything within our BW sandbox. So we'll just click Finish. Okay, now we have a brand new OLAP connection called BW Server. This is going to allow us to now talk to our SAP BW environment and access the queries that are sitting inside of our BW environment. We can test our connection and we can see that it is successful. So everything looks good. Let's now pop back into Web Intelligence. And we'll see if we can read a SAP BW BEX query. So just clicking into the BW server OLAP connection, we now can see that we have access to read the info areas, two reporting objects, InfoCube and MultiProvider. And we see that all of our queries are currently grayed out. So we don't have access to read them. Hmm. Okay, well, this is an easy fix. This is because SAP BW doesn't yet permit access to these queries. So we have to go into the query that we want to bring into business objects and actually enable a little checkbox that will allow us to now read that query into business objects. You'll need Bex Query Designer in order to make this happen. So if you don't have Bex installed, I'll show you how to quickly get Bex up and running. So this is a brand new Windows 10 environment that we're using to connect to BW. And right now we have the SAP GUI already installed. However, we do not have the Business Explorer components. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually ensuring that I have Microsoft Excel 32-bit installed and 
because this is a system that does not yet have the Business Explorer add-ins installed, we'll have to go ahead and reconfigure the way our SAP GUI initially loaded to bring in those BI components. Because right now we're not, we're not seeing anything related to Business Explorer. So let's close out of Excel. And now we're going to open up our GUI installer, navigate to the GUI folder, Windows, Win32, and launch the SAP BI setup. And it is incredibly important that you do have a 32-bit version of Office installed because the 64-bit versions are not compatible. So as you can see, my system does not yet have Microsoft.NET Framework version 2.0 installed. So I'm going to go ahead and download Microsoft.NET Framework. All right, and now that I've downloaded that, I'm going to launch it. So this is a prerequisite for the Business Explorer tools. And Windows is saying, okay, well you have an older version, we'll go ahead and include the newer version for you. Go ahead and click on the download. Okay, awesome. So the .NET framework installed successfully, and now we can resume our SAP GUI install that's specific to the BI components, which will enable BEX Query Designer to be added into our system. So going back into GUI and launching the SAP BI setup. Installing Business Explorer. And I'll just make sure that everything is checked here. Click Next, Next. Click close, and now if we click on our start menu, we do have the BEX query designer and analyzer installed. So the next step for us is to open up the BEX query designer. We're going to log into our BW application server. So much like you would when you're logging into SAP, we're going to put those same credentials in. And I'm adding my language as English, EN, hitting OK. And now this is going to bring up the BEX Query Designer. Awesome. So now we can create queries, but in this case, we're just going to be opening an existing query up because we want to enable it for use within Bob J. So you can see we have our different panes here to navigate. I'm just drilling into the info area that contains the query that we want to enable for Bob J access. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And this is a very simple step. All we're doing is modifying the query properties. Click on the Extended tab and just check in the box next to Allow External Access to this query by OLEDB for OLAP. We'll save our query. And now we can just close out of the BEX Query Designer. And we'll jump back into Business Objects and see if we can now access our query within Web Intelligence. Going back into our BW server. In 
info area. The NetWeaver demo info area. The actual demo. And boom, there you have it. We can now access this query as a data source. And it might take a minute or so to connect just because it is passing through a few different layers to bring that data back. All right, so Web Intelligence has pulled our query structure. Just gonna create a quick sample query. All right, and just like that, we have successfully connected business objects to SAP BW, specifically a BEX query. And to recap, we use the information design tool to create that OLAP connection between our business object server and the BW system. And then enabled within BEX, the query to be read within BobJ. And that's how you connect from business objects to BW. Thank you.